I just Googled mole the other day and found out that it means sauce. So like guacamole means avocado sauce. Who knew? Anyway, I'm making chicken with mole sauce or pollo con mole. And it starts out with sauteing an onion, of course, and adding some garlic and salt. That's a nice way to start almost anything. And then it starts getting pretty exciting because I'm going to start adding a lot of spices. And the spices I'm adding are going to be cumin, and that's two teaspoons of it, cinnamon, a whole teaspoon, so that's a lot of flavor, and three tablespoons of chili powder. Okay, so here those go in. And your chili powder is something that you, um, you really want to decide what kind of chili powder you want. It can be a variety of kinds, but they're all just a little bit different. Some of them are kind of peppery and, and some of them are um, sweeter. So be sure and taste the chili powder that you plan to use and use what you want. Then uh, you can put in cayenne. This is just a teeny tiny bit, but um, if you want your mole sauce hotter to have more of a kick to it, you could put in more. This is two cups of organic tomato sauce. Here it comes, right in there. This is pretty darn good. And um, then I'm going to add, you know, the wonderful thing, chocolate. Yay! And I've got um, four ounces of organic semi-sweet baking chocolate. That's what I'm putting in there. You can use a darker chocolate if you want to, but you may need to add in more sugar if you do that. So I'm putting that chocolate in there. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And a tablespoon of sugar. And that just has to cook in there until the chocolate melts. That takes about five minutes. Okay, so I'm going to add about a half a cup of water in here just to thin it out a little bit because we're going to pour this over um, chicken. And this is a whole chicken that has been cut up into parts. It's very economical to buy the whole chicken and cut it yourself. You can, you can save a lot of money rather than buying you know, the different parts. And I also sort of find it's more respectful to the chicken. This is beautiful free range chicken. A lot of people have been asking me about getting kids to eat food and how do you co coerce them to eat what the family's making. And um, one of the best things I know is just to get the child invested in the food in some way. So if you take them to the grocery store, have them help in the kitchen. Having kids help make dinner and help in the kitchen actually gives them a, a sense of worth, a sense of contributing to the family, and all that's really good. But one of the simplest ways to get kids involved in the food is to use them as a taste tester. And I, I did that all of, all of Jane's life, and I had her taste it and say, hmm, what do you think? What does it need? And it, it's a, Jane, it's a great way to get them to um, be you know, have some sort of commitment to eating the food then later. Do you want to taste this? It's mole yes. sauce. Doesn't it look fabulous? Are you ready? It's a little bit hot. Uh, 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 uh. What do you think? Mm. Is it good? Does it need anything? Let's ask the expert though. Joaquin. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Ready, ready? Here it comes. Mole. Mm. See? You like it? Okay. Is it good? Now we know it's good. Does it good. need anything? I'm going to get you. I'm going to trust them that it tastes good. Anyway, all this, all I'm going to do is pour this over the chicken and cover it with some foil. goes in the oven for an hour. And I can go play um, checkers or something, right? So the mole chicken is complete. And I like to serve it with some Mexican brown rice and a little cojita cheese on top. And then we all sit down and eat together as a family because that's, that's important. Jane? Yeah. Honey, would you set the table, please? How about if I make the salad and Joaquin sets the table? Okay.